Hi guys, welcome to Office Bloke's Try. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I am Office Bloke Daz. Howdy. You may notice that we are missing an Office Bloke today. Are we? He, uh, yeah. He, one pound fifty. One pound, He's one pound fifty, 50 off. Uh, yeah. He, no holiday. He hates America and all things American. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're joking. And office Bloke Mike is having a week off. He's on holiday. A week off. Yeah. So Scottish. Fair play. <laughs> I'm mostly Scottish. I can't say anything about that. Um, happy July the 4th. I don't like to call it Independence Day because the well, that's what it is. I know, but the connotations are fuck the British. They're not. Because that's kind of what you did. You no, kinda, no, they didn't. Well, they did, know. but they didn't. What they did, they made themselves independent to be a, the great state that they are now or the great country they are now. You know what they did was they got sick of paying their taxes to us. And they said, I should keep my tax money. Oh, fuck it then. I'm going fucking all that war tomorrow because I, I ain't paying taxes as well. Think how nice England could be if we had all that beautiful American tax money for the past 250 years or whatever it was. I hate paying tax. <laughs> Don't we all? Mate, I've had tax bills. It's time, in it, to get tax bills and all that. I just... I suppose, I suppose a way of looking at it is... Americans, the Americans got a bill from HMRC. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, we're going to kick off now with HMRC. There's another <laughs> war coming on. For loads of money. Mm. And they went, I'm not fucking paying that. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sounds like my office. <laughs> so actually, uh, I think the office blokes do relate with you quite a lot on that, on that point. Um, so yeah, anyway, I digress. We've got a Patreon page and merch. Blah, blah, blah. £1.50. £1.50. Go to um, our Patreon, like and subscribe. Pay £1.50. <laughs> Cheapest chips. We've got some American beers to try. We have. We have, uh, I think, a couple of them are micro brews, but we've got Brooklyn Lager, Brooklyn Defender, Stone IPA that looks pretty cool, Pabst Blue Ribbon, which I get those, can't get enough of those Blue Ribbon Blue. I've seen that quite a lot. I've never heard of it. Someone else saw me yesterday and said, yeah, it's massive. And I was like, never heard of it, mate. I've seen it on, I don't know if it's like rednecky programs and stuff where it's Pabst. What do you mean by redneck? My kinfolk who have gone over there. That's what People from Northwich. Them. Pretty much, yeah. Um, and then we've got some Sierra Nevada brewery. Um, Three of them, Sierra Nevada. We've got yeah. a hazy little thing. Hazy little thing called love. <laughs> we've got a California IPA and we've got a pale ale. And we've got Flying Dog Brewery Session IPA. So lots of IPAs, lots of beers, all that sort of stuff. I love beer. So, have you got some... Uh, of course I have. I don't think we've got enough to do a fresh cup per bit. Plus, at the office blokes do care for the environment quite a lot. We do. We actually recycle more trees than... Not recycle trees. We recycle more paper to... Uh, I bet you don't know how many trees it is. Michael, no. Yeah, unfortunately, office bloke Mike isn't here. But he, he looks after that set. That's yeah. his department. Yeah, but believe it or not, the office blokes... It's about... Do you want me to tell you how many, how many it is? Go on. It's about 171 trees a month. 171 trees a month saved by not the office blokes but subsidiaries mm. and that's a minimum the parent company of the that's office a blokes. minimum parent company <laughs> <laughs> anyway what should we go for first then I want to try the uh, blue ribbon blue ribbon Pat's blue ribbon I've seen this on quite a lot of I've never seen it mate movies where's it from TV shows uh, it's from America isn't it <laughs> where America uh, Victoria uh, what? Yeah, I'll give it someone who can read. Made oh, in the Milwaukee. USA. Oh, Milwaukee. Happy days. I don't know anything <laughs> about Milwaukee. Went straight over here, that didn't it? Happy days. Was that where it was filmed? Yeah. You know Fonzie? Yeah, I know hey. Fonzie. Everyone knows yeah. Fonzie. Hey. Don't do a full glass. It's trying it. We've got to go no, through no. all these. It got loads of head on it. That's why I kept going. Dave loves head. Well, oh, mm. who doesn't? Fucking hell, you, it's you got, got a flake with that. It's lively, it's lively. I don't know what to say. I blame that on you Milwaukee, Milwaukeeans. It's like a coffee. I know. I've had coffee with less I head. Know. It's pretty scary yeah. to see that. What, tell me something about Milwaukee since you've lived in the States. Well, I've not been to Milwaukee. I've got a couple of friends who live in Milwaukee. All right. Um, one with the same name as me, Daz. Daz oh, from Milwaukee. Daz from Milwaukee. Like Dar- his name's Darren. Yeah. Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking called Darren. I know. <laughs> Obviously, there's the most of the music I listen to is American. There's loads mm. of bands growing up on Metalhead. Yeah, loads of it is America. I don't, I can't think of anything in Milwaukee. Well, Milwaukee. Um, so what you've got in Milwaukee is uh, the Green Bay Packers up that way. All oh, right, okay. So Brett Favre, obviously yeah. one of the most famous Green Bay Packers he was. Yeah. Did all that kind of stuff. So yeah. No fair play. So cold, lot, cold in the winter. Not a lot then. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese heads and all that kind of stuff. Right then. So uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Let's give it a go. And we do like beer. Really we do. We love beer. Mm. 
Yep. What's what's the uh, percentage on that? I don't know. About four point, four point something, I bet. Seems a little bit light. It seems light, and I was actually going to say, for me, that tastes like Bud Light quite a lot. No, it's stronger than Bud Light. It's about 4.7, <clears> I'd say. 4.6, 4.7. I can't see a percent. Fucking hell, give it me. Someone who knows how to read a can. 4.7. Fuck <laughs> I got you to the point. That's what it was. I got you there. That's what it is. It's like when you... <laughs> I'll open it. <laughs> oh, I yep. loosened it for yep. you. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's not, to be fair, 4.7 is not that light. That's not. That's almost premium. I don't know if it works the same in America, but the premium lager what, is when you, when you hit 5%. They lowered Stella. I know. Stop fucking people fighting. No, it wasn't that. 4.5, Stella. It wasn't that. It was the tax. Oh, is that what it was? As soon as you go over 5% and become a premium beer, you're subject to higher taxes. So and we all love taxes in America, yeah, don't we? of course we do. Uh, you have to pay your taxes to the Queen and not question it. Um, yes, yeah, so they lowered Stella because of the tax. That saved whoever makes Stella crazy money just by reducing it to less Did you just hear the night shift come in and that's office book, Chris? Office book. I'm just oh, doing what? Yeah, yeah, Get just the Jack Daniels out of the way. I just did the door go. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that's nice. I've got to say, I'm not the biggest fan of light beers. Bud Light, That's not Coors a light beer. Light. No, it's not. That's nothing like Coors Light. I could drink that. No, but flav- flavour-wise, it is. It's really smooth. It's not I could, the strongest flavour. I could drink that all night. That's the sort of thing I could definitely uh, smash out. Oh, easy. But that's the thing. I, I say the same about Bud Light, Coors Light, stuff like that. that that's that, really good. That's more like a Coors. What is it? Where's it gone? The can. It's there. It's there. Paps Blue Ribbon. I like it. Milwaukee. Where's that Coles? is when you're sat on your sofa, on your front lawn, with your feet in the paddling pool. That's exactly what I feel about that. That's one of them. If I'm going out to watch the match and I'm on the bus... And I've got, me, I've got me 24 pack to go to Liverpool <laughs> away. <laughs> 20 minutes on the road. <laughs> 30 miles away, 24 pack. You know, the Smashing crazy thing out. is, I believe you on that as well. <laughs> I'm not uh, lying, yeah. I think we go Brooklyn. Oh, I've had it before, Brooklyn. Lager. Brooklyn is actually quite big over here. It's popular over if, here. Uh, I don't know if people really realise that, but you go in the vast majority of hipster bars and I've had it burger a joints. I've had it a lot over here. Stuff. My, my new drink at the moment, which I'm drinking a lot of in the bar, is a drink from Argentina called Cuomes. All right. And I'm Never drinking it. Oh, mate. He's, he's the real deal. Daft question. Come on. <laughs> Everyone's going to laugh at me here. No such thing as daft questions. This, is this from Brooklyn, New York? New York? Let's Square, try it anyway. Square footage, I think space in Brooklyn is going to be through the roof. You'd be better off brewing it somewhere else. I've had this before. I've drank that by the yeah. boatload. Mm. It's nice. It's good, isn't it? Good lager. Yeah. yeah. It's a good, it's solid a very good lager. lager. It's not going to change your life. Mm. It's, You're Googling uh, Brooklyn lager. I am Googling Brooklyn lager right now. Because that's what we need to, we need to find out where it's from. Because I tell you what, that's, that's a really good crisp. It's crisp, is what it is. And it's almost like a cross. It's like a hybrid. It's, it's hoppy. It's like a hybrid from a lager to an IPA. Agreed. Mm. Definitely, it's 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 nice and it's not too hoppy. It's just that nice nice level of flavour. To be you, fair, though, I think if you had like if you had about twenty bottles of these, you'd be gassy. I think. Oh, without a doubt, it's like a it's like a Peroni mm. or a Moretti. I think they're the same. They're really gassy. Mm. Oh, there you go. Uh, it's a brewery in Brooklyn. Oh, you're doing? Started, hey. You know, I guarantee. That's my Brooklyn accent. I guarantee it's brewed. On license all over the place. Will be. It will be. They sell too much of this I'll in the point UK. Point out Brooklyn Lager when you're talking about Brooklyn Lager, if you don't mind. Oh, wrong bottle. Yeah, instead of easy IPA. Wrong hole for. Um, yeah, I mean, like, space per square foot in somewhere like Brooklyn is a premium, isn't it? So what are we going to try next, then? Hang on, let me finish this one. We've got some Flying Dog Brewery. I think... No, let's do California. Sierra Nevada, California IPA. I think some of these are... Probably like hipster breweries that have been going for 20 years. Yeah, North Carolina. Oh, well. Brewed. We've got some... Uh, brewed in Mills River, North Carolina. I'm down for that. My mate Barry, North Carolina. Kate. I also think uh, Marcus King that we reacted to, he's Carolina. My I mate, don't know if he's north or south. My mate Kate, was a, uh, she was a DJ, a radio DJ. Um, 
in North Carolina. She's Not called Kate in the Morning. Kate Britain. 98.5. <laughs> so give her a name. I use me to give her a name. Kate Britain. Kate in the Morning. So we're going, what's this one? Well, I thought the Jack Daniels was going to be the one where we got pissed, but <laughs> this is uh, this is fun. Four point two percent. It's a California IPA called Sierra Nevada, brewed in North Carolina. <laughs> oh, you can only have one of them. Citrusy. Citrusy yeah. is the word. Yeah, right there on the can. Big time. I'm not the biggest fan of the overly citrusy, hoppy sort of beers. We have a lot of beers in the UK that are like that, though. What does that say? Unseasonably what? Unseasonable ale. Citrusy and seasonable ale. It's too hoppy for me. Like, I could have one of them. If you go to, like... That'd have to be my first drink. If you look at the Camera Good Beer Guide, which is the... I, I can't remember what it stands for, but it's basically the people who run... Camera, yeah. yeah. They run beer it's, in this Yeah, country. I know what it is. It's uh, something... I'll, it'll come to me in a minute. Real, yeah, something in real ale. But if you get a camera... If, if your pub, for example, gets put on the Camera Good Beer Guide, that is a... We've got one. It won it. Just around the corner here. The packet. The packet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the Guinness there is yeah. unbelievable. Mm. Usually you've got loads of session ales and guest ales and stuff. That tastes a lot like quite a lot of the hoppy guest ales that we have over here. Mm. Cascale something and real ale. It stands for Cascale yeah. and real ale with an M in the middle. It's like having a Michelin <laughs> star. It is, isn't you, it? You're yeah, getting the camera good beer, guys. It is, yeah. Not for me, that. Don't like that. If I ordered that in a pub, and you've probably paid five pound fifty a pint for that, I realistically, went out, the type of bar you're drinking. In I went out. I went out today, and I paid five pound five, which is about what seven dollars. Yeah, eight dollars maybe for a uh, Stella pint of Stella, wow. and it was class. It was it was a real good Stella though, but now you have to do it on the app. Yeah. And I'm faster. I said to Gaina today, I went, let me see how fast I can order this. What do you want? She's like, off cider. I went, bam, 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 bam. And I think my fingers are going like that. And the way it went over to another table, I went, what can I get you to drink? And I went, let's use first. Yeah. It was a race. Well, I asked come out about five minutes before theirs. I've got in trouble quite a few times in the aforementioned weather spoons because I've ordered on the app and my beer's been sat on the edge of the table, on the edge of the bar for 10 minutes. And I've just, I've been that annoyed that I've got up and walked over and just picked them up and the bar staff have gone, what are you doing? I'm like, these are mine. I'm sick of looking at them. Weatherspoons is shy, mate. Stay out, Weatherspoons. Yeah, I know, know it's fucking two pound a pint and all that shit. They've had an app for about four years. So all this, everyone rushing to do an app to order your beers at your table. They've been doing that for a long time. Here's a story. My son's just turned 18, right? So he's now legally allowed to drink. I'll pour us this one while he tells yeah, the story. Yeah, tell a story. Brooklyn Defender. And he comes home and he went, he went to 11 June to one of the... Uh, Why is he going to 11 June? Because he's on the corner from our house. Oh, God. Yeah, it's not far from our house. <laughs> and he, so he met all his mates, they all finished college together and all that kind of stuff. And it was yeah, last yeah. day at college, so they all went out for a beer. And he went, he come on, he went, Dad. He went, it's a fucking pub down there. He didn't say anything. He went, it's a pub down the road. He went, Weatherspoons. And I went, £2.50 a pint. He went, yeah, can't believe it. Cheap as anything. And I went, yeah, I said, £2.50 is expensive, mate. I said, you should be paying about two twenty. <laughs> Depends what you drink. And he's like, can't. He said, I'm going there all the time. I said, yeah, good luck on a Saturday night when you, I'm going to scrap with someone. Mm. To be fair, the last time I was in Weatherspoons, You were scrapping with, you, <laughs> with your family, probably. <laughs> no, we didn't scrap. But Fucking I left, hillbillies. I, I left <laughs> abruptly. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know what it is it's, oh no is it if, I think all these are very hoppy what's that that smells alright nah I don't like the gimmicky five pen. and a half percent mate oh five that's weird percent. five and a half percent it smells weird I can't put my finger on that that's what she said I can't, I can't. Actually, that's good. <laughs> I like that. What is it? Is it metallic, though? Metallic? No, there's something that I can't put my finger on there. Like, by, by metallic, I mean, like, iron, that sort of that sort of flavour. Blood. That's good. I like that. But you tell you what, though. 
You have four or five of them. You'll know. It's lively, isn't it? Mm. What a nightmare this is. What a July 4th we're having. Here. You're having the same July 4th back over in Motherland. <laughs> Motherland. Uh, we're the Motherland. <sighs> Whatever. We're the Motherland. Yeah. We've had it a lot in the comments section, actually. People saying, you know, the UK versus USA pretend drama and all that sort of stuff. They're like, you're the Motherland. We appreciate you. They're doing their thing. Someone, someone, someone uh, said I'm a troll for America. You are a troll. And someone said, you're trolling America. You've never been. Don't know what it's like. You, got, you can't go there. You've got to understand what it's like to live there and all that. And I went, and everyone commented for me, all the, the good people out there yeah. commented. And so I got into them and mate. But you're the, kids are born. Kids are, kids are American. You're the biggest advocate. Like when we react, like I say, Mike, Office Boy Mike has never been to America. Never been outside of Simply. Yeah, I, <laughs> I've been to Las Vegas. That is it. And then the surrounding areas because I went to like Boulder County and the, yeah. you know, like mm. all those sort of places. You've lived there. What year did you go to Boulder County in uh, Colorado? Oh, not <laughs> Boulder County, sorry. Yeah. I was wondering about no, uh, John Benet Ramsey. What, what, year were you, what were you with there? <laughs> Whatever fits the narrative. Um, no, I mean Boulder, mm. not Boulder County. Boulder's mm. the town they built to build Hoover Dam. Right, okay. That was the one. So, you know, I've done, I've done all that sort of stuff. You legitimately have not just lived in somewhere in the States. You lived in Houston, you lived in New Jersey, you've mm -hmm. travelled a lot about the States. I've lived in, uh, I think, nine houses in the USA. Wow. Mm. So it's, no, we've been around the USA and we drove. When we drove from New Jersey to, we drove from New Jersey to uh, Houston when we relocated, but we also drove up to Miami many times off Florida to go on holiday. My mum and mm. her husband, Mark, they been out there so much and mm. they love it yeah they've flown to california driven to las vegas they've done route 66 mm. stuff like that yeah I, I there's so much about i want to say what's this we're trying now we're trying stone ipa there's places in manchester where if you were from here which we are you'd turn around and go fucking hell mate don't stay there but then someone could get a uh airbnb there and get a taxi in and out of the middle of Manchester for a couple of there's days nowhere, and have a great time. There's nowhere in Manchester I would tell someone not to stay. I'd advise them not to stay. I wouldn't say definitely 100% don't stay there. But it's probably the same but, when someone goes, oh, you're in Chicago, you can't possibly stay there. Well, right? I, went to, I went to Lynn, Massachusetts, and loads of people are telling me, don't go Lynn. Don't, don't go Lynn, Massachusetts, because yeah. it's fucking bad. I had a great time there, and then we, we had Declan was a little baby at the time. We're walking around in a fucking push chair, walking him around, and everyone's like, well, are you mad to know foreigners like English but proper English accents as well and like yeah. it's not even like we could blend in you know it's um, but it's what it is you make what it is you know of life it's not like you're walking around with a big map in your hand going excuse me sir I did that once everyone. when I was a kid I was about 17, 18 um, Gina and I went to Germany and we were studying Munich and I had a map in my hand it was pissing with rain and I'm trying to take shelter under the, under the shop thing and I've got a map in my hand and I'm like right and this is before mobile phones and all this yeah, kind of stuff and I'm looking yeah. where we're going a car pulls up a German guy jumps out and he comes over he says let me try and help you and I went oh I said I don't speak German he went no no I'm trying to learn English let me help you where you need to go where, I'm, where are you looking for and I went the pub <laughs> 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 the, the off brow house and he's like uh, oh the off brow house and, he, and he's telling us and he, but some of the words he was getting was mixed up but he was, his English was a lot better than my German yeah but it was he was and that's that's just people around the world what you mean it's you special 95% of people regardless of the country the race the gender whatever are nice people and they just want to help people mm. it's as simple as that you're but, in North Korea you know what I guarantee <laughs> that 95% of North Koreans are nice people if you got them outside oh that's another one they're being oppressed and they're being starved to death by some tyrannical leader this is the stone IPA right we're down to the last two now we got a hazy little thing called love. These should be called podcasts. <laughs> they should be called. Ah, I'm not sure people let us know if you like listening to our shit stories about. Do you want us travel to just, and Do you want us to just try it and go? Ooh, that's fucking hoppy. Or do you want us to sort oh, of shit for a bit? That's a bit sweet. Or do you, yeah, do you just want us to chat bollocks like we are doing? This is hazy little thing, IPA. Hazy little thing called love. That's what I said. Four point six percent. So like, and this is from Mills Rhythm, North Carolina again. Same. Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. See, we have uh, quite a history of weak lagers in this country. Barry, Kate, 
Seth. Cheers, Baz. We've got quite a history of weak lagers in this country. Carlings and Carls. I know Carlsberg's not. Mike's a calendar and can be careful. He might be watching. He is. But what I'm gathering here is the, the reason Americans like to drink half cans of beer is because they're quite strong. That's not a half can. It's 330ml. Yeah, so it's a, a little bottle. No, it's 330ml. That's yeah, like a almost pint, a pint. A pint. That's a pint, 500ml. 550. 550. It's just over half a pint, though. Yeah, but the problem you've got with when you when you've got a can bigger than that, unless you've got a koozie on it that keeps it cool, the fucking by the time you've drank it, it's, by the time you get to the bottom, it's warm. Would you go to the bar and order half a pint of hazy little? No, thing? what the fuck? I wouldn't order half a pint of anything. <laughs> you can't order half a pint. Even when I drink if we go in the bar and I'm driving, I have coke on my like, pint. The only time it's acceptable to drink a half pint is if you're thirsty. And while you're carrying the full pints over to the table, you need something to quench your thirst. Yeah, like an orange just juice. Just while you carry yeah. it to yeah. the table. Mm. Mm. But they're, they're basically just over half a pint. That's my point. I'm fucking not drinking cans again, am I? <laughs> <laughs> cans are though, in the now. They're not. What's that then? That's, that's bigger than that. Look at that. That's got to be a pint. Yeah, but that's just less than a pint. They're 500 pounds. Ah, pint, I okay. Think. I'll take that then. Stella. So is it a thing that in America it's quite strong? No, is it? Because it, it, I think Bob Lyons. I'm not sure. The, I'm not sure going to have these on tap. Many places won't have these on tap. I don't think. I think but these. The, are... But the Sierra Nevada Brewing Company probably have a load on tap. If you go to like local, depends how fast. Depends how good it travels. Yeah. So if you're putting it in, if you're putting it on trucks to go from uh, North Carolina to fucking California or um, Washington State and places like that, I don't know if it'll travel well. I've There's got, a lot of beers that don't travel very well. I've got a question for you. Is the vast majority of it on tap, on draft? Or I don't know. I've never you, heard of these places. I've heard of Sierra Nevada um, but Brewing I mean, Company. Are they shipping out 10,000 cans somewhere? Yeah, or are probably. they serving casks? I think it'd be more cans. So you don't have to worry about it travelling? Yeah, it's travel, it's, even when you're travelling in cans, it, it's got to travel right. It's pretty moody. It's, bit, wor- it's, it? it's worse when you're traveling in, in containers and it's, it's pumped in, you know, in kegs. You it's, know, it's, it's, it's even worse. You know, the weird thing is, the best Guinness I've ever had in my life was in Canada. No, you've not been to the railway, mate. Guinness is the best I've on the drank, railway. I've drank Guinness in the railway. What even colours that? Look at that. It's like, it's 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 so like a sam- it's like, it looks like a fucking sample, that. That's like my piss after I drank mm. loads of cider. <laughs> no, but the uh, in Banff in Canada... Uh, St. James's Gate, the bar is called. I actually like that. It's, it's not for me. But you can have, that's that's a one beer again. It's the first beer of the night. That's a one it's beer. Too, it's too light and hoppy. Mm. It's too... Mm. Are we calling it after this one? I think we better add. Was there one more? Two more, but I think we... Uh, Let's do one. Waff- waffled on long enough. Let's do one. Go on then. Choose. Easy IPA. No, let's do easy. Because we've done Sierra Nevada for two others. We're not very good no. about uh, being concise when we've been drinking too much, have we? Can you tip my glass a little bit when you pour, please? Can you get like fucking more head than. Bear in mind, this is all on camera. I've tipped every glass so far, but some of these beers are too lively and too citrusy. I blame the citrus, to be honest. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to... Uh, Cheers, guys. Happy 4th of July. Hope you're still with us. <laughs> I seriously doubt anyone is at this point, other than Lee, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> if you're still with us, Lee, we're going to get naked in it. <laughs> well, we know what his OnlyFans spend is, so... Head over to OnlyFans. For well, we know his OnlyFans spend. spend is on our OnlyFans channel. Don't know what he spends it elsewhere. Um... That's a bit nondescript compared to the other ones. It's kind of like... I'm not sure you'd buy that in a bar. I'd be a bit disappointed. If someone went in a bar and ordered that, I'd be like, that's the, you know, that's the sort of beer you order if you go on a date in a bar and that's the, what the girl gets. What I will say is you criticise me tipping the glass or whatever and there was loads ahead as soon as I poured it. Look it's how, dead now. Look yeah. how quickly yeah, it's died. same, yeah. You can count the bubbles in it. Mm. That's that's not for me, that. If I ordered that in a pub, I'd drink the pint and I'd go, it was all right, that. I'm not going to have another one. I could brew that myself. 
Yeah, I reckon. I could put that together myself. A lot of everything in life is about branding, though. And it's yeah, not, you're right. It's not about the best product in the you're world. You're right, yeah. Especially when it comes to hipsters. I've got a microbrew. Mm. I will say, I mean, someone's going to let us know in the comments, what's the most authentic American beer here? I'm going to say it's probably that. I'm going to say Brooklyn Lager. I've heard of it a lot. I've enjoyed them. I will say a bit too hoppy, a bit too citrusy, some of them. I agree. I think if you're going to go, if you're going to go all out American beer, obviously Budweiser probably trumps a cause light, maybe, or cause. Um, Would you drink Budweiser over these beers? No. I wouldn't drink Budweiser over anything. I'd rather Cause? Have, um, cause I could have a little bit of. I wouldn't be able to drink Cause all night. Well, it's a driving beer, Cause, didn't it? <laughs> Diet beer. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got to, if, if you're going to go proper beer, you've got to go German beer, Lohenbrau, Bex. Uh, no, or, or you go Stella for the, the Belgian beers, you know. But this is office blokes try American beer. Mm. So, <laughs> does it compare with the Stella and the uh, the Bex and stuff like that? Yeah, I think it does. Some of them do. Some of them are definitely up there. That I would have. That Mama, perhaps, perhaps Blue Ribbon was definitely up there for me. Th that's the one. If, Brooklyn out, Lager was out of all these beers. If I was buying a crate of, yeah, this, you're buying twenty four. Yep. What are you buying? I'd buy the Blue Ribbon. Perhaps Blue Ribbon. I'd go Perhaps Blue Ribbon. Milwaukee. If I was Happy of. days. The uh, Green Bay Packers cookout on a match day. 24 of them See, doing a uh, tailgating. doesn't taste strong. The problem That's is... That's a pint. It says one pint. Cheers, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching us drink some American beers. I hope you drank some with us. I hope you stayed with us for the 4th of July. I seriously doubt it. Party on. At this point. But yeah, we will uh, also be trying some sweets, some sodas. Turn on the next one. <laughs> Cheers, guys. See you in a bit.